Good morning, welcome back. This morning Lindsay's driving. We're heading to Switzerland, we've got just over three hours to get there and we have reserved a space in the campsite for when we get there. Well, we think we have. Yeah, we think we have. Fingers crossed they've got our reservation. We need a campsite tonight. We've had two nights wild camping. It was warm last night, we had the air conditioning on and we're at 27% on the battery. So, um, although it's charging whilst we're driving through the alternator and the solar panels, we could do with a bit of electric just to top the batteries up. It's all good and well having a huge battery bank, but you've got to top that up. You've got to fill that battery bank up. Um, and that can be a challenge. I worked it out yesterday. I think we're charging at around about seven and a half percent an hour whilst the engine's running. So it takes quite a few hours with the batteries, uh, with the engine running to charge the batteries. So fingers crossed, we've got our booking on our campsite tonight. We're plugging electric and Pull the batteries back to 100%. On a side note, I've just overtaken a lorry. <laughs> Ladies, if you're concerned, or even gentlemen, if you're concerned about bringing your big vehicles out to Europe, just have a bit of heart. I'm doing this, okay? We're on a, the toll roll roads, which are nice and straight and easy, at quite a steady speed. But I've driven through some villages. So if you're at all worried, Give it a go. Don't let that be a reason that you don't bring your rig out into Europe. We're gonna do what they say can be done. Holiday run. We've got all the tunes today. Come by. Right, the roads are getting wriggly, so we switch places. And we've got the tunes on. Let's do this, man. I do love a good mountain road. Never, Never break, break the, the chain. chain. Oh, oh yeah, I drove all night to get to you. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, we have a reservation. Radford, pay with your Monzo or your Revolut card. It was much cheaper to pay in Swiss francs. And we've got some tokens for hot water for the shower. So he turns up and we get out at the reception and the first person says, are you the Roman Radford? If we pump into a subscriber straight away at this campsite in Switzerland. What's the chance of that? Anyway, we're here for the river jumping. That's really what got me interested in this. And She's given me a map where we can safely jump in the river, off the bridge, and then the points where to get out. So we're gonna check that one out. But first of all, let's set up our pitch. So it's not a massive campsite, and there's, they are crammed in quite tight. You'll see some of them here. And there's tents over here, but the best thing is the river's just over the other side. So let's go and have a look at the river. And table tennis. They've got table tennis, I know that. And the kids need table tennis. It's their favorite thing to do when we're in campsites in Europe, play table tennis. Found table tennis? Yeah. A little cafe, restaurant area. That's nice. Nice grass area out here. It'd be nice for picnics. But this is what we've come for, the river. Oh, wow, look at this. The color of the river. That is fast moving, that is. This looks a lot of fun. Right, let's go back and have some lunch and get jumped in this river. Looks like they've got some chalet apartments that you can rent out here. Lots of tents. Lots and lots of tents. Okay, laundry facilities over here. Toilets. Elson facilities. Let me show you in here. So you've got men's toilets through here. And showers. There's six showers, um, and you do need to put a token in for the showers to get hot water, otherwise you just get cold water. Sinks, basic facilities, but very, very ample, very, very ample. This outside washing area gets very, very busy. Could probably do with a few more sinks and stuff here. You've got foosball, 
and a little outdoor eating area over here. Back to our pitch, which is nice and level. And we've got electric over there, so let's plug it in and charge the batteries. Right, there's some lunch. The boys are off playing table tennis. I've got the aircon blasting because it is warm today. And I'm going to get down to a bit of video editing because tomorrow's video hasn't even been started yet. So I better get amongst it. Oh, right, and take a break there and jump in the river with the boys. Okay, the river is very fast moving and the boys are going to have a first go down it now. <laughs> See you later, boys. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this is their guys. Well, that's the last we're going to see of them. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mine and George's go. You ready, George? Nope. It's cold. Oh. oh, it's bloody cold. And it's fast moving. There's steps all along the way that you get out. Oh. It's all right when you're in, isn't it, Ed? Guys, yeah. you're so far from me. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, we're going fast now. <laughs> Woo! It's <so> <laughs> oh, it's so this is really cool. <laughs> this is awesome. So I saw this. Someone sent me a link and I saw it on a YouTube video on this. So um, don't worry, guys. I'll put a link in the description for this campsite where you can come and check out this river because it is awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. That was a bit harder getting out than I thought. Well, that was a blast, but at the end, trying to get out, got a bit manic, to be honest with you. And we tried to get out one set of steps and we're starting, and trying to get out the next set, but uh, it's fast moving water. And uh, you better be a competent swimmer if you're going in there. Right, back to the van to carry on editing. This evening, we're gonna have fajitas. So I've got a plate of chicken and I've got, no, I've got a pan of chicken and I've got a pan of veggies because I'm going off meat at the moment. I don't really want to eat it. So this way we can all have what we want. And I'll just chuck it on the table and we'll all make our own once it's cooked. Yummy. Now Steve absolutely loves this Kadak cooker. I hate cleaning the ridged plate. I just find it so bloody irritating. It takes so long, so much effort. But I've got two of my big pans on here nicely. so. I think we've got a compromise, we don't have to get rid of it, love. You can tell this barbecue setup was designed for a male. This is, Steve usually does the outside cooking because it's sitting down. I, I'd never sit down to cook. I'm not sure I particularly like it. <laughs> Fajitas are my favorite thing. And you too, George. Mm. <laughs> How was it? And Lindsay's gone off the chicken. She's just having peppers. I am. So I'm just working out how many more people want some chicken. Who wants chicken? more, more chicken? Oh, too good. Tucking me, me, in. Me. Then back to the editing. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Whizzing around the site on that. Right, that was a lovely dinner, my love. Thank yeah. you very much. Right, we're in Switzerland now. So I don't need these ugly Angles Mort stickers on the van. And they're magnets. So the guys made them at work. If you want any, give the guys at work a shout um, and I'm sure they'll sort you out. Uh, Yowzersigns.co.uk or give them a call 01908 378882. But the one on the back is a sticker. So that's going to have to stay on because there's no magnetic on the back, is there? Right, back with the video editing. Good morning from sunny Switzerland. I've got a coffee. I don't usually drink coffee in the mornings, but the new coffee machine is really uh, changing that for me. Um, the boys are still in, in bed. I think we're all working in the old time. Oh, no, someone's getting up. I'm going to sit and have an hour with my book and maybe do some yoga in a bit. This really is rather nice. Cheers. We've been on the road almost a week now and I've not done anything to stretch my body out. My back is stiff. My hips are even stiffer. So I'm going to do a very gentle yoga restorative session that's going to stretch out my whole body I hope because I really need it. So that full body stretch took about 
25, 30 minutes. There is no way you've watched 25, 30 minutes of me doing yoga. So I'm assuming that Steve, if he's used this footage, has sped it up. But just to give you an idea, that's about 25, 30 minutes, full body stretch, and I feel fabulous now. So I've been video editing this morning and I've been uploading a video for you guys um, on the Starlink, which has got a connection, but it's not the best upload. So it's been uploading for about an hour and a half. Still got half an hour left and that should be finished. Then we're gonna head out into Bern. Um, we bumped into a subscriber when we uh, arrived yesterday and they told us about the toboggan run. So we're gonna check that out. And with your stay at this campsite, you get um, a free ticket to travel on the public transport in Bern. So how cool is that? So we're gonna check that out this afternoon um, and maybe then jump back in the river later or tomorrow before we go. Right, I've caught up with some video editing and I've uploaded a video for you guys and that's going to go live tonight. It's going to find this toboggan run. <laughs> We've walked up the hill to get to the train that will take us up to the top of the mountain. And we're just coming across really cool architecture. I feel like I'm in Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> Bern is fantastic for tourists. Every tourist that arrives here in the city, their accommodation can give them um, an access code to get free public transport across the whole of the city, including up into the mountain on the Girton line. I'll double check that and say it properly in a minute. The thing we're on now. The thing we're on now. So the boys were lucky, I wasn't feeling very well yesterday, Monday, and decided not to book us on a walking tour, even though the old town of Bern is a UNESCO site. But I think from up here, we get a pretty bloody awesome view of everything down there. We might need to come back and do a walking tour so I can learn a bit more about the history. The views here are incredible. You can see the palace or whatever it is down there and the river, the river that we went in yesterday, just down there. There's panoramic views all round. They got a little train and a little train driver. <laughs> that funny. I can replace them. There's a bigger train over there. Kids' cars here, but my boys are all too big nowadays to ever go on these. At the top of the mountain, there's a great big climbing frame built amongst the trees. George has found a unique way to climb it. He's going through the underside. <laughs> all right, George. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be playing on the top. Nah, that's boring. That's for he's been there and he's done that already. <laughs> Right, now for a go on the toboggan run. Go get him, Haz. Thank you. 
well, that was quite cool. I enjoyed that. I thought it'd be for just for kids, but that went quite quick. That was awesome. That was so fast, I was going to fall off. It was genuinely so fast. How was it? <laughs> Dead panhead. Kept hold of your phone, all right? It's a much nicer temperature to be walking down the mountain than it was to be going up to the, um, the train station. That was a brilliant few hours we just spent on the top. So much free stuff to see and do. The tobogganing wasn't expensive. Cracking afternoon in Bern. Right, back to the campsite now. And I think the kids want to jump back in the river. Right, the boys are getting in on their own this time. And we're going to meet them downstream. Oh, good. Wait, keep brother. All right, George. Just stand up, stand up. Step here, yeah? He's fine. Look in. So we'd come here for the bridge jumping, but none of us was really confident enough to jump off the bridge. Except Ed. He was gonna give it a go. This really is an amazing place, isn't it? It really is. It's just people just keep flowing down the river and, and there's, uh, there's parties. Back, and walking up one way and floating down the river again. See what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the camera down and do a little time lapse now. But the other thing I noticed, it's multi-generational. So we've seen like three, maybe even four generations yesterday I saw coming up and floating down the river. <laughs> I'm cooking dinner again tonight. We've got sausages. I know some of you commented why was Lindsay cooking outside the other day. Well, I was busy video editing. So some of you commented on our Facebook. So make sure you're following us on Facebook, by the way, guys, for more up-to-date um, posts of where we are and what we're doing, or on Instagram. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Right, let's get these sausages cooked. Good morning. Good morning. This campsite is such a gem. It is, Ab isn't it? It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Just on the edge of Bern, so you've got the city not far away, and you can use the, uh, the public transport to get there. Or the river. <coughs> or we, the river. We worked out, jump in the river, five minutes later you're in the centre of Bern. Oh, it's amazing. Everybody, we saw some cracking things yesterday. We did. Loads of people with dry bags. The best thing I saw was a group of older women um, who came in just their swimsuits and their flip-flops and they took their flip-flops into their swimming suits. I just thought that was <laughs> genius. It's a way to travel here. Just jump <sighs> in the river, go down the river, get out. Fantastic. Fabulous. Really, really is. Absolutely fabulous. And that's how I found this place. I think it was one of you guys that recommended this jumping in the river. Um, and that's why we came here, but we discovered so much more. So highly recommend it. I would recommend booking in advance as well, guys, because it does get pretty busy. Um, it's a busy site for tents as well as hard standing as well. You can see behind there's lots and lots of tents, lots and lots of families, lots of children here. So The restaurant looks lovely. We didn't even have a beer in there yesterday. Time just got away from us. That was our plan, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? But yep. we're moving on today. Um, we're going to do a bit of driving and mm. we're probably going to stay in Switzerland. I've got one more um, lake stop planned in Switzerland. Yes. So Which means that we won't have to supervise the boys in the, in the river as much. Right. Yeah, so we can let them do Because it's month end, I've got work to do, so. And I've got video editing to do, so you know how it is. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, we will. Yeah.